Well, it's a rainy day here in East Tennessee. We just had a four inch snow here over the weekend. It just melted off, now it's raining. So it's awful muddy to be digging. So I thought I'd show you something else today since it's a rained out day. I'll show you some show and tell on these musket balls, what I found in these old Tennessee ridges. So let's get started. Well, here's the musket balls I found over the last year. Of all types, all sizes, all calibers. Most of you know what they are, but some that don't, well, what's a musket ball? Well, a musket ball is something shot out of a smooth bore musket. This is what they look like. From a pistol up to a rifle. This is how they work. They're just smooth bore, and they've been around a long time, too. Back before this country even become a country. Back in the old times, in the old country, across the water. And how they work, it's just a smooth board, and they put a powder down in there with a patch and a ball, and he shot it out. Here's a picture of what what the ball looks like putting it in the putting it in the musket. Now these old musket balls, they've been around a long time, and these all types and all different calibers too. And here's the kind of tools that they used to make these musket balls. They was made by hand. Different calibers. They would pour it, in, put it in a ladle over a fire and melt it down and pour it in these little molds. And this is what they look like. This is an old musket ball. And they used these mostly in the military, in the war, fighting wars of all kinds back when they settled this country. But mostly it was used for people after the wars was hunting, long hunters, explorers come into this country. And they used them all the way up to the Civil War. And as all other military weapons is, they advanced. And they started using stuff in these, in the projectiles instead of balls, they started using stuff called mini balls that look like this in the Civil War, and ammunition started changing. From there on, it went to casing with powder in it and a bullet all in one piece. But I can't imagine the brave men that marched against a solid wall of these bullets. Well, that brings us up to speed on what a musket ball is. And they're laying all in these hills, mountains, of the Appalachians from history gone by. Well, guys, here's the musket balls I found over the last year in these old Tennessee ridges in some rugged country. All different calibers you can see here. They they had all different calibers of guns, small game up to big game, and, and all kinds of different calibers. But this is what I found. And when they got out in groups or sometimes, they they didn't have the, the lead and no way to make the caliber that they had so they would take whatever their buddy had with them and they would they would take a hammer or a rock and beat it down to where it would fit the caliber they got. Stuff like this. They called that a hammered shot. They would hammer it down. Looks like that's cut in half. Here's another one. Don't know. Now that's what I found out about them and, and what they used when they made their own lead and their own musket balls in their shot, they would take, they would carry stuff like this around with them. Camp lead, they called it. Put it in their saddle bags or backpacks, whatever. And they would put a hunk of this in their ladle and they'd melt it over a fire like this. And then they would pour it into the mold of the caliber they had, the mold, and they would pinch it off. And you can tell the big distinct difference in these musket balls 
you could tell they've been pinched off or poured. You see that little hole right there in them? That's that right there is a telltale sign that it's a musket ball and it's been handmade. See that little hole? Little indention. Here's another one. See it right there? Now it's hit something flattened out. All different calibers. That's the telltale sign of them. Most of them I find are turned white. I've cleaned some of them. See, here's another one. Big old musket ball. See where it's been poured and pinched off. And they had a lot of impurities in these musket balls too. A lot. They even had dirt in them or whatever. But that's what they had at the time. Now you can, there is ways to test this lead where it was mined and where it come from at these universities and stuff. But, oh poor boy like me, how can I afford to have that done? I just have the fun and the pleasure of finding these things. These are history. These could be 150 years old. They could be 200 or plus years old. Back when the pioneers come in here. You just don't know. Here's some big old musket balls. That looks like a 69 caliber. Like I said, I'm no expert. But this is what I find. You see how where they've hit and disintegrated. There's another one. Pure lead. Turn white. Big old musket ball. Solid lead. You can see a little dimple right there in it. You don't... You don't really can't tell, but that's what they are. All different sizes, different. Make them all the way down to 28 caliber, all the way up to 69. All different, small game, big game. And come all the way up to about the Civil War, they started using projectiles like this instead of musket balls. They started using stuff like this. This is a mini ball. And you can see the chart here of several war bullets I'm showing you. This looks like a 55 caliber shark. I found a few of these on these old ridges. I found a few of them. Well, there you go. Makes me think too, I'm not a dozen miles from where Davy Crockett had a farm before he went into politics, went out west. So I know he hunt down these ridges. I'm on the same ridge line he is. I wonder how many maybe of these that he shot hunting at one time. But you can't prove nothing. You don't know anything. But I thought I'd share this with you. It's, it's a rained out day for metal detecting. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And we try to get back on these old farms and ridges again. So, God bless, and I'll see you next time.